Hey guys, in this quick tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can mask unused limbs and other parts of your character model in AccuRig. If you're not yet familiar with the basics of AccuRig, please check out our introductory tutorials. In this scenario, we have a character with his hands in his pockets. With this particular character, his hands are going to be consistently in his pockets, therefore we don't need his arms flailing about like regular limbs. The solution to this is to mask the arm bones that are generated by AccuRig so that they will remain in their current position. Let's start off by hiding the accessories on this character and selecting the three sub meshes that make up the general body. In the skeleton and bind skin section of AccuRig, ensure that you have selected meshes selected and force symmetry checked, then click on create guides to auto detect the joints. The joint markers will appear and since we don't want the arms to be functional here, I'll move the mid and lower arm markers away from the character mesh and refine the positioning of the other markers, including the shoulders. Use the guide image at the top right of your viewport to confirm the recommended placement. Remember to confirm the placement of the markers from both front and side views to ensure that they drive the mesh properly later. Hands are also not necessary in this scenario, so I'll set the number of fingers to zero. From there, we can click on Generate Skeleton to give us our basic skeleton. Since we don't want to use the arms in this scenario, we need to mask them out. To do so, I'll select the highest bone on the arm hierarchy, which is the shoulder bone, and turn the mask option to on. The lower arm bones further down the hierarchy will now all be masked out, and their color will change to black. As you can see, if force symmetry is selected, this will apply to both arms. From there, click on the Bind Skeleton button to generate the skin weights for your model. You now have a fully functional character with masked out arms that you can test out with different animations once you exit AccuRig mode. If we play back one of the test motions, you can see that the arms and hands will remain stationary while the new rig drives the animation for the rest of the body. You can use the Edit Pose tool to further check the results. Note that our rig is fully IK compatible, allowing for realistic interaction between the bones regardless of which one is being used to drive the animation. Since we masked them out, the arm bones are fully non-functional and won't be able to drive animation for any of the limbs on the character. This is just a super simple example of how you can use the mask option in AccuRig to accommodate different types of characters to allow for realistic movement regardless of the limb situation. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.